，被巴死的。往左边这边打巴死，不要往右边去。We go to see all the little penguins on the island before they go to sleep. See our ticket. So watching and be in my movie star. Beach, the beach there. <laughs> Oh, here and I lay in. Okay. Oh, oh I'm in parade here. Wow, it's freezing here. Oh. Oh, gee, lots of people go there and have a look again. Lots of people around eh? So we run to see the penguin before it come out. <laughs> no more no more filming picture when we see the penguin. We will scare the penguin. <laughs> warm up, good warm up. You see lots of people go and see the penguin. A good experience. Officially, lots of wildlife rescue. Very, very shortly, we'll have some seabirds on the water's edge. All right, next um, stand. Those seabirds are so seabirds on the water's edge. Uh, those seabirds are called little penguins. They are to just south of Perth. Amazing stuff. 
uh, and we have an education team as well. So we get to work with schools from international destinations and domestically, which will teach them how to build pet one burrows um, and educate about the area. So without you guys coming tonight, we wouldn't be able to do the work we do. So we really, really appreciate it and we thank you so much. So we are here to eat the world's smallest penguin, the only blue penguin out of the 18 species, standing at 33 centimetres tall and weighing roughly one kilo. So you can imagine how scary crossing this beach will be tonight for the little penguins. These little penguins spend 80% of their life out in the ocean. So essentially we're watching them come home from a hard day's uh, work of fishing. They've done the nine to five and they're returning home to come have a bit of a penguin party. So spending 80% out in the sea, that means they actually sleep out in the ocean. So when they return back, it's not a solid eight hours of sleep like we do. It is, come, it is a time to come back and do some housework, chores. So these little guys could have been out to sea for maybe a week, maybe two weeks, even a month. They don't necessarily have to come back and forth every single day. They'll head out to sea about two hours before the sun rises um, and they want to be any birds of prey and they want to get out there to start their fishing day. So they're going up to 50, 60, even 80 kilometers directly behind us out here. They're diving over a thousand times per day. The average dive is about 73 meters deep in about 25 seconds, so they're very fast in the water. And tonight you'll see how quick they are actually on land as well. So they're diving for small fish, like pilchards, anchovies, squid, even crab, anything that they can fit in their belly, and they won't return back to land until they're nice and full. So tonight we might have some penguins looking very, very full and very heavy when they return home. Now what the penguins are doing right now, like I said earlier, it is the scariest part of their day, crossing this beach. So they're out there and they're doing a thing called rafting up, which means safety in numbers on top of the water and they're floating out there. They're actually only about 100 metres or so out there um, and they may not know each other in the raft, uh, may not be friends or family, it's just, hey, you look really familiar, let's get home nice and safe together. So they're rafting up and they're actually looking over at that skyline over there and they're wanting that to get really, really dark. While they're over there looking at that, they're communicating with each other. Now this communication sound is called a huck, and usually we can hear this sound before we even see the penguins. So while you're sitting there, make sure you keep your ears out as well for your eyes, for that, hucking, uh, that hucking sound. Belle, in the middle there, she does a great hucking sound. Ask her, she will do it for you, she loves it. Mm -hmm. um, and they're coming in and they're floating closer and closer and closer. Now eventually, we'll have one little brave penguin pop up out of the water. Now it could be a male fe uh, penguin or a female penguin. It's just the most bravest penguin of the night. The one that has the most courage to start crossing the beach. What usually happens is they'll take a couple of steps, look around and go, I'm not ready to cross yet, and then run back into the water. They'll do this a couple of times before they feel nice and confident to start crossing the beach and heading up into the greenery on both sides in the corners. Now, these little penguins, they're creatures of habit. They always walk the same pathway and go back to the same burrow um, every single time they return back to land. They actually use landmarks like these poles um, and things along the way to help them get home. So pretty much everywhere there is a light pole uh, on the beach tonight is a pathway that the penguins cross. So we were watching two pathways out of the four of the personalities when you're heading up. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,